this is our first destination for the day. In 900 feet, turn left on the US 20. Yeah, north. Anyway, this is our first destination for the day. A place called Hell's Half Acre. Hopefully there's an opening in the fence like there was the last time so we could get up there. Hell's half acre and it is windier than I'll get out. Well, that was Hell's Angel. Hell's Angels. Yes. <laughs> Hell's Half Acre. Felt like hell at first because uh, they fenced it totally off. When I was here before, it was fenced off, but there was a nice cut in the fence where you could walk out and get on the rim. And I was afraid there was nothing, but I found a place uh, where I could walk under. And it's a pretty phenomenal place to see. I walk under, slide under. I had to crawl under the fence to get out there so that I could really get a nice view of the area. Good enough, and uh, we'll catch you at our next spot. This is Boysen State Park area off to the left. Big reservoir there and uh, several campgrounds. But I turned on the camera because we're going to be headed into the Wind River Canyon here. Thought you all might like or enjoy going through it. Like I said, this is, I'm just testing out this camera. I mean, this is the first time I've ever done. I'm testing out all cameras. And I'm hoping that this one will suffice for inside the car. Otherwise, I might have to get something else. This is the campground we stayed in. Lower Wind River. These are the Owl Creek Mountains that we'll be going through here on our way up to Thermopolis.
So we're in the town of Thermopolis here. All right, well, we're on our ways to Hot Springs State Park and the Hot Springs. I don't know if you'll be able to read it. World's largest mineral hot spring. We there just missed go. the term for the park. Yes, paying attention to something that didn't matter. I missed the term, so now i got to turn around. Or can I turn in here? Know. I could turn in here. And there. A little welcome to the state hot springs. And you can see the wind. The wind is not even anything here compared to what it was on the road. In any case, our destination is right over here to the left. Woo-hoo. Not the right. That's a private, but this is a public and it's a free hot springs. It's a state hot springs. Yes. Here's one of the formations that the hot springs formed, I guess a while back. There is a plaque up here. Maybe I could read it and figure it out. Wow, so this was uh, apparently man-made. Interesting. 1909. So there's actually a pyramid and a pipe under there. So this is active. You can hear the water seeping through this. Massive. Just massive. Zoom them out. It's kind of cool with the clouds up there, isn't it? Crazy thing. Beautiful colors that you can see along here. Why, well, lots of water coming down here. Woo! Stinky water. Lots of water even bouncing off here. I don't know if you can see that there. Here I'm in the little park away from the hot springs, which are back over to the right. Pretty, there are some rapids there. Let me zoom into those. So this is the state bathhouse, as we mentioned, and it's free. There is a limit to the soak. I think it's a half hour and they have showers and lockers. Great place. All right, so here's the indoor pool. That's as wide angle as this camera goes. Usually nobody's in this one. Hardly ever do we see anyone in this. And then down here, this is the outdoor pool. Behind it here are the terraces from the old hot springs. A lot of it's dried up. You can see the outdoor pool. And you can see that there used to be a pool up here, apparently. So these terraces are pretty dead in this area. Beautiful setting here. getting a little more orange into the mix and then up a little higher here it's quite a bit of orange just a few minutes out in Thermopolis you can see we have hit rain and we are in a crazy headwind, almost straight in the wind. I'm thinking if this keeps up, I'm going to be pushing for staying in the city RV park in the beautiful town of Lovell. Yeah. Rather than heading up into the mountains. We're supposed to go up into the Big Horn Mountains today. And then uh, this town of Lovell, Wyoming, is supposed to have a city park with free camping. It's supposed to be pretty nice. Yeah, maybe not driving into the mountains is a good idea. We'll see. Well, for what it's worth, those mountains in the distance are our destination. We're 
were our destination for today, but we're probably going to stop short. We haven't totally decided. I have, but oh. we haven't. <laughs> I guess we've decided. We have decided. <laughs> well, we just haven't seen it yet, so. This is true. There's only 15 spots there, so. Yeah. That may be a ten mile. All right, we'll catch you uh, when we find the campground. This is the campground here in Lovell, Wyoming, or Lavelle. It's a free camp park right in the city. It's really nice, has showers, two bathrooms for each men and women. You know, it's not ideal. I mean, the spaces obviously are very close. We could have someone right next to us. But you know, sometimes you just need to have some place to rest your head when it's been a long, bad day, still trying to rain and great winds. So thanks for the town of Level for having this available and we'll be seeing you later. All right, well, we've had two very windy days. Incredibly windy. Uh, today, Hell's Half Acres was awesome. I mean, that was pretty cool. I had to, as I showed on the video, I had to climb under the fence to get out there when I was here in 2011, I was able to pretty much uh, go through the fence. Someone had cut the fence. A lot easier than getting down on my back and sliding through with the camera. I should have taken pictures. Should have taken, uh, yeah, why didn't you take pictures? I don't know. <laughs> well, I was too busy losing the thermostat. Yeah, yeah, she lost her thermostat. <sighs> Um, we can know what is, is inside the camper now, but not outside, but that's all right. We'll get, we'll get another one. It doesn't really matter. It is what it is, right? But we don't get to complain about how cold the night was if we can't no, we quantify don't. it. Yeah, no, we can't complain. Thermopolis, which is just wonderful. Yes. We, we, we've now spent five, five trips here. Uh, tomorrow we should end up in Montana. We have a pretty special place to hit, uh, we're hoping. Uh, if the rain doesn't preclude us from doing it. It is actually my main place I want to see on this trip. If nothing else, I want to see this. So we may be coming back this way uh, once we've kind of finished the loop that we planned. If the weather keeps us from seeing it tomorrow. It's been a great trip so far. I mean, we're <laughs> we're into it, let's say, uh, what did we say, 19? Well, we're day 14 now. Yeah, day 14, tomorrow's the 15th, and that'll be about halfway, and we'll be leaving Wyoming, and then we'll, we'll spend about six or eight days, I guess, in Montana, at least. Wyoming is phenomenal. I mean, it's Off. a wonderful state, so beautiful. It's, it's just incredibly beautiful. and So much variety too, really. Yeah, a lot of variety and, and just seems like every time you turn around there's something else to look at. Yeah, I hope you've enjoyed it and if uh, you like what you see, just leave us comments. Let us know what you like, what you don't like, or what you'd like to see more of or less of. Uh, good night. It's getting late now and dark. The so, dog has gone to bed. The dog has gone to bed, so...